Two Bibb County deputies who fired shots at a suspect are on administrative leave while the GBI investigates. Megan Western went to the site of yesterday's shooting to give us the latest. This is the East Macon intersection of Emory Highway and Coliseum Drive, where it all happened around 5 p.m. Wednesday afternoon. I spoke with some neighboring businesses who said they heard the gunshots around 5.45 p.m. that caused traffic backups until about 7 p.m. The GBI says it started when Bibb County deputies tried to stop 31-year-old Dale Watson, but instead of a simple traffic stop, they say it turned into a chase. Speeding away, the GBI says Watson crashed his car, then got out and fired at deputies. The two officers returned fire, authorities say, eventually catching Watson. It happened during rush hour at a busy East Macon intersection and right outside Piedmont Macon Medical Center, one of the area's largest hospitals. No one was injured, although Watson was taken to the hospital. He is now in the Bibb County Jail where he is charged with aggravated assault and violating probation. State records show that he was just released from prison last month on an aggravated assault conviction in Bibb County. But according to the state, he's already served six terms in state prison, mostly for thefts and burglaries. On Thursday, the GBI says the two Bibb County deputies are on leave. That's standard practice when the GBI is investigating a shooting. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office on Thursday would not release their names. The GBI is still investigating the incident, and they say this is the 89th officer-involved shooting they've investigated in 2022. In Macon, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. At this time last year, the GBI had investigated 72 officer shootings. We didn't hit the 89 mark until December 1st of 2021.